Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? <laughs> Very good. How are nice you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Please have a seat here. Sorry, are we bothering you during your no, rest no, time? No, 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 no. <laughs> There's no rest time here. I can imagine. It doesn't exist. You you had a long day, uh, yeah. but I thought it'll be a perfect time <coughs> to catch you because I usually have Sunday brunch. With all my guests, but आप इतने busy रहते हैं हमने आज आपके साथ Sunday dinner किया है क्या मिल रहा है मुझे dinner के लिए आप बताओ आपको खाने में क्या पसंद है जो भी मिल जाता है मैं खा लेता हूँ मेरा I don't have I don't have any big preferences uh, yeah I don't like कटहल and मटर I don't like मटर and कटहल yeah. these two things you yeah. don't like if but, I have to eat it I'll eat it but I don't like it yeah when I'm at home yeah it, I'm pretty strict अच्छा yeah so I have uh, I'm I'm careful. I okay. don't. I don't eat all sorts of stuff. Hmm. Uh, here, I don't have much choice. So hmm. whatever, whatever happens, I do. But you know what? We've been seeing that you've been touring across India, and hmm. some places you're trying local or regional cuisine. Bhi try kar rahe. We saw you eating bhakri in Maharashtra. Yeah. Yeah. How was the experience of this yatra? Because we are a food and travel platform. Yeah. Uh, I know you're meeting people from different places, but you know India is such a rich country when it comes to culture. What have you discovered in this trip so far? Completely different. The culture is completely different. Yeah. Uh, The food is different, language is different, music is different, everything is different. Yeah. And it changes. I mean, of course, it changes at the state boundaries. Yeah. But it also changes within the state. Yeah. Uh, mm. Telangana was a little bit spicy for me. Yeah. So the chilies <laughs> were over the top. There I struggle. I don't eat that much chilies. वैसे इस conversation का agenda simple है. We want to know Rahul Gandhi as a person and not as a politician. Okay. So you were born in a Kashmiri Brahmin family. Kashmiri Pandit who moved to UP. Okay. Right. Our family was from hmm. Kashmir, but then they moved to Allahabad. Okay. Our grandfather, Papa's Papa was Parsi. Right. So I'm complete mix. So, घर पर खाना क्या बनता है? Normally in our house, uh, lunch पे देसी खाना. अच्छा. Uh, hmm. And uh, dinner पे some sort of continental stuff. That's generally what happens. Okay. Uh, but I I'm quite particular. I don't. I have a sort of controlled diet. So मेरा काफी boring होता है. Yeah, we've seen hmm. your abs. So we are pretty sure about your controlled diet, right. but yeah. Yeah, I mean it's not that controlled also. But I I avoid like I try to avoid too too many sweet things and stuff like that. Oh really? Yeah, I but try to keep. But sutro ke anusar, aap ek time par eight se ten ice cream bhi kha sakte hai. Is that true? Ek 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 kabi do ho jati hai, but eight to ten nahi. Okay, so I won't keep you waiting for long. You've had a long day. Aaj aapne kafi walk kiya hai. Let's begin our dinner. Okay. okay. Yeah. What kya kya mil raha hai? <laughs> ये ये मुझे ये ये आज थोड़ा फैंसी किया आप लोगों ने <laughs> ये नॉर्मल वाला नहीं है प्लेट भी बड़ी फैंसी है आज कोली टेल्स वाले आ रहे थे तो उन्होंने सोचा थोड़ा फैंसी डिनर मुझे लग रहा है आई टेंड टू बी नॉन वेजिटेरियन ओ ओके एंड मोस्टली लाइक सी फूड चिकन व्हाट डू यू लाइक चिकन मटन सी फूड You know Delhi is known for its food, and mm. given that you spent your childhood in Delhi, are there any favorite hangout places? कोई छोले बटुरे, गोलगप्पे वाली जगह जो आप बहुत frequently जाते हैं? पहले old Delhi जाता था, but generally now my staple is Moti Mahal is where I go. The butter chicken is really yeah, good, yeah. right? And then वो uh, सागर, mm. स्वागत. Sometimes that Saruna Bhavan. But you, you go there. Like, uh, is it not difficult for you to get around the city? No, not at all. And if I may ask, how was your childhood really? You went to a school, then homeschooling. Given that yeah. you are from a political family. No, homeschooling was because my grandmother was assassinated. Okay. So the security people said uh, we can't go to school. It was a shock actually, hmm. because I was in boarding school. So then one day. दादी की डेथ के पहले हमें वहां से निकाल दिया था दादी राइट देन दे जस्ट डिड अलाउस टू गो टू स्कूल सो एंड इफ आई मे आस्क व्हाट्स योर लाइक फॉन्डेस्ट मेमोरी फ्रॉम स्कूल एंड डिड यू गेट एनी स्पेशल ट्रीटमेंट इन स्कूल नो आई ये ये क्या भैया नहीं मुझे पानी दे दो उसमें नो थैंक यू नहीं आई हैड अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग सो आई हैड सम टीचर्स हु वर ओवरली नाइस टू मी एंड देन आई हैड सम टीचर्स हु वर Really nasty to me. Yeah. So I had I had both worlds. Were you aware that you are with this? What family you come from, and that's why this is happening. What was your psychology back then? I don't I don't think it's so much the family. Hmm. 
I think uh, it was more sort of the political position that my hmm. family used to take, hmm. which was quite a pro-poor position. And so, uh, a lot of the people who were teachers, hmm. uh, I, I don't think they appreciated that. They used to be quite nasty to me, but then there were others hmm. who sort of were nice. So, it was a balance. I didn't get both. Can I offer you some? Yeah, yeah, please. Thank you. Thank you. और मैं आपके बारे में जब रिसर्च कर रही थी, I saw that there were so many colleges attached to your name. आपने, this may sound like a job interview, but I'm very very curious to know that what all have you studied? I studied, I was in Saint Stephen's for a year. Okay. And there I studied history. Okay. Then I went to Harvard University. There I was doing international relations and politics. Okay. And then there the same problem came when Papa died. So there was a security issue there. Then I went. To a college in America, in in Florida, called Rollins College. There I studied international relations, economics, and then after that I did my masters in Cambridge, university in England, in in development economics, in economics. It's actually called a masters in philosophy, but in economics. And it was as I was saying to you, when I was in school, some of the teachers were nice, some were nasty. So there I got a neutral, completely neutral sort of view, which was, which was very important for me. Yeah. Uh, so, so I liked it. Yeah. Both uh, Cambridge University and Harvard, excellent institutions. Yeah. काफी tempting सा खाना है. Please, please feel free to have your chicken tikka. How did you start the channel? So we do food and travels. Oh. So yeah, I used to do a travel show, and that's when I realized my interest here. So I switched. And then I started Curly Tales. So travel where? Travel India and yeah. uh, abroad. So creating travel vlogs basically. I think travel is very important hmm. to get a good idea of what different cultures are doing. Hmm. It's very important. Then I mean, before this yatra, you got the chance that you are going to travel the way you are going to travel. You know, doing this yatra now. I've been pretty much every district in India. I've been. Hmm. You know, but. Not walking through the districts like this, so it's a totally different feel. बिल्कुल अलग होता है. और हम travel की बात कर रहे हैं. We saw you swimming in Kerala, jumping in the waters. Tell me, are you also a scuba diving expert and a trainer? When I was in Florida, I used to teach it. I mean, as a hobby. And then, yeah, I do dive. I know how to dive. And I also do something called free diving, which is diving. Breath holding, without without scuba gear. You can do that, really. Yeah, I do that. And how, for how long can you hold your breath? Well, it depends if I'm trained up or not. Okay. <laughs> so if I'm trained up, then I can hold it for a long time. Wow, that's interesting. But, but if you're not trained up, then it drops significantly. You have other interests also, like we spoke about scuba diving, also martial arts. If yeah. I'm not wrong, black belt. Black belt in a martial art called Aikido. So you you got like professionally trained for this? Is that out of your interest? Do you still practice it or not? Not as much now. I used to box in college, and then I've always done some sort of form of physical exercise. Martial arts are very convenient. Yeah. Most people don't understand them. Hmm. They're not actually designed to be violent at all. In fact, they are quite the opposite of that. Hmm. Often they are also taught wrong. So often they are taught as you know to hurt people and to attack people. So. If you if you understand them and you are taught correctly, it works quite nicely. Tell me, given that your routine is right now, do you get time to work out? We saw you doing like those push-ups. I was just looking. There, my mats are here somewhere. Really? Yeah. <laughs> do you still work out? No, no. We, I do. Like I do like a. I do a. I do a. This might sound crazy to you, huh. but I do. A, I do a martial arts class even on the yatra these days. Do you remember your first job and the first paycheck that you received? Yeah, first job was. In London, hmm. for a company called Monitor Company, strategy consulting company. I remember the first paycheck I received. What was it? It was <laughs> at the time it was like a lot, hmm. you know. And I was actually, it felt that it felt strange. Yeah? yeah. What did you do with that money? Do you remember? No, I was living there, so probably huh. it went in rent and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, 
it was a big amount. I think it was at the time almost three thousand pounds or two thousand five hundred pounds, which like was a lot. Yeah, of money that's a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> How old were you back then? Do you remember? Twenty twenty four. Really? Yeah, or you have a regular job? You did like a corporate, proper corporate job. Yeah, you would go to office yeah. and all. Yeah. yeah. They're talking about scuba diving, martial arts. How did the interest in politics happen? I mean, I come from a from a family where uh, you know we have another we one. we we are very political people. We hmm. discuss that our family has always been political. Hmm. Um, I mean, when we were small. the conversation with dadi and papa on the dining table was hmm. you know about india politics hmm. everything that's going on so it was it's a, it's just what we grew up doing um, i think my father's death also had an impact on it my grandmother's death also that was certainly part of the reason why um, i i felt i should join politics then it changed after that but you know uh, rahul losing your uh, such close family members your hmm. father your grandmother uska ek ye effect bhi ho sakta tha that i will never join politics because there's this sense of fear of losing your closed ones no, in my family we don't get scared hmm. that's a trait that you know i saw in my grandmother and my father so that's not even a question hmm. that was never a question in my mind really so i want you to be fearless in my next game which is 5 second fire to so, aapko 5 seconds mein mujhe jawab de dena okay okay <laughs> okay Roti or rice? Neither. <laughs> really? No, neither, neither. I I I don't eat much carbohydrates, so I avoid both. But if I have huh. a choice and I'm forced, if you say okay, ek khana hai to roti huh. probably. Roti, okay. Tea or coffee? Coffee in the morning, and if I'm drinking it, then tea in the evening. Okay. But normally, I just drink one cup of coffee in the morning. Three favorite food dishes. You have to name three. I like tandoori food, so I like okay. chicken tikka. I like sikh kebab. Hmm. I like a good omelet. Favorite destination in the world? No such thing. I I just like to go to new places and see them. So, like I don't have a favorite color or a, you know I I don't have all that. Three words you say when you are really angry. Five seconds eh? बहुत गुस्सा आ गया आपको आप क्या बोलेंगे? I actually go quiet. Really? Okay. बिल्कुल चुप. मतलब आप चुप हो गए सब समझ जाते हैं you are no, angry. Yeah, I'll get quiet. Or I'll say I'll say you know don't do that. That's very polite. <laughs> No, but it's That's, there's there's uh, that has an the, effect it, or no yeah, impact? It has an effect. It has an effect. Yeah. I will try that. <laughs> okay. But I've got a technique that I use. What is it? Tell us. I use it with my mother and my sister, hmm. and people I'm close to. Yeah. So whenever I have an argument with them, hmm. I'll just send them a message. Like my mother, if hmm. I have an argument with her, I'll just send a message saying, "Look, mom, uh, you're my mother." I love you very much, and uh, you're right. That that's your technique. <laughs> no, it's true because it's true because whatever it is, hmm. if you love somebody, it's not really worth having a fight with them about it. Yeah. You know, you can always later go in, fix it, or you can say, okay, fine, I'll I'll back down. It's not a problem. So I do that. My mother, my mother says what you're saying that you don't actually mean it, <laughs> but but it disarms her. She can't say anything after that, you know. Yeah, yeah. Her, her heart is all warmed up then after no, reading that message. No, she's suspicious. She's like sometimes she says, "Oh, you just sent this to me like that." I said, "No, mom, you are my mother. You've given birth to me, uh, and I owe you a lot. So yeah. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna get into it." You being the youngest in the family, are you pampered? No, I'm not. I'm I'm older than my sister. Oh, are you? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. She's the youngest. So is she pampered? No. What do you not, think? She's not pampered. <laughs> no. Different people pampered different uh, kids. So my grandmother used to pamper me. Okay. My father used to pamper her. My uh. mother used to pamper me. So it's like that. Uh. I think the woman pamper me, and yeah. the men pampered her. <laughs> yeah. So. What about the two of you? Would you bully her, given that you're older than her? Yeah, we used to fight. Hmm. I we used to fight big time hmm. we used to get into serious fights see because we grew up with a whole bunch of violence around us hmm. right and so i guess a lot of that was internally sort of causing you know uh, stress and stuff so we used to fight a lot we, hmm. and then after papa died we just stopped and then now we'll have an argument or something but It's nothing major ever. Yeah. 
so yeah three things by your bedside actually my bedside <laughs> there's nothing on the side of my bed well there there is a drawer there yeah. which has my passport in it okay or some other id in it some uh, religious little hmm. uh, rudraksha and a couple of you know uh, images there uh, of buddha and shiva and stuff wow and hmm. then uh, what else my wallet your phone uh my phone yeah my phone या डू यू स्पेंड अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम ऑन योर फोन या आप रात को सोते टाइम फोन अलग रख देते हैं नहीं फोन अलग रख देता हूं रात को सोते टाइम बट काफी मतलब इन द डे यू हैव द यू हैव टू यू हैव टू यूज इट डू यू स्पेंड अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम ऑन सोशल मीडिया और यू डोंट नॉट मच नॉट मच डू यू एवर कम अक्रॉस मीम्स दैट आर बीइंग मेड नो आई मीन आई डोंट आई डोंट लाइक आई डोंट रियली वॉच or go on to social media much i mean most of my phone work is whatsapp telling somebody you know do this yeah. think about that um, and then i have couple of younger people who i sort of advise and <laughs> guide you know this is how you yeah. should think about things so i do that and then a lot of it is political stuff yeah you know, but i don't i don't like sit there you know and on instagram or facebook and things like that your favorite prime minister till date i, I don't see it like that of course I mean of course Indira Gandhi was my grandmother hmm. right and Rajiv Gandhi was my father so I love them hmm. uh, and and they'd be my favorites I think different people do different things that are powerful right right yeah. so there are many many people that I say oh that's an interesting person who's who's doing a job in a challenging space yeah okay. there are many of those but I don't I don't say oh that's the one I really like Yeah, three things you would do if and when you become the prime minister of India. Who knows about these things, you know? <laughs> uh, I would transform the education system. I would help people doing production, right? Uh who who might have small uh, businesses who have, might be struggling and I would help them scale those businesses and make them big. 5, 10 people, 15 people who run them and they pretty much control the whole structure. and i think what india needs is lots of small businesses transforming into larger businesses Absolutely. because the real problem we are facing is unemployment hmm. and with the type of concentration of wealth that we have uh, you're not going to solve that problem so the third thing i would do is uh, i would protect the people who are having a rough time right farmers laborers youngsters who are unemployed so i'd make sure that they feel they have protection in this country so or the way i think about it is they should feel their protection and then they should be able to expand their imagination to do whatever they want and i think that's the job of a nation the job that's of a nation is to true. make sure that you feel protected and then to make sure that once you're protected that if you want to be a journalist writing about food the nation helps you uh, helps you do that in a in a most productive way so that's how i think about it I also want to know about your look with this beard. What happened? I mean, we've seen you really? clean shaven for so long. What's with this new look? No, I just thought it would <laughs> I I don't know. I just felt that I shouldn't shave my beard or cut hmm. my hair. Yeah. Uh on the yatra. Uh it's nice. Is this it's a, a bit big now. It's it's getting big. It's it, it makes life a little complicated when you're eating. <laughs> I didn't realize that, but it does. Yeah. Are you enjoying this look? <laughs> you know, it'll change. Uh so it's okay <laughs> all right <laughs> but there was a big hmm. there was a big lot of pressure on me to cut the beard from, from who from my party guys no beard ko kaati hai beard ko kaati hai beard ko kaati hai like nahi kaatunga so what was really the purpose aapne ye shuru kyun kiya bharat jodo yatra and if you can explain me the objective for this the idea of the yatra was to combat the sort of hatred and anger and वायलेंस दर इज बींग स्प्रेड इन इंडिया हमारे कल्चर में तपस्या बहुत ज़रूरी चीज़ होती है तपस्या अपने आप को समझने के लिए दूसरों को समझने के लिए तपस्या एक बहुत यूजफुल औजार होता है तो यात्रा के पीछे वो भी सोच है कि अगर हम कुछ करें थोड़ी उसमें कठिनाई होनी चाहिए थोड़ा दर्द होना चाहिए थोड़ी मुश्किल होनी चाहिए उससे सीखने को मिलता है समझने को मिलता है 
तो मैं सिर्फ अकेला नहीं कर रहा हूँ बहुत सारे लोग कर रहे हैं लाखों लोग कर रहे हैं आपने देखा होगा आप चलिए 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 तो आप चलिए थोड़ा कल अगर आपको मौका मिले तो आपको दिखेगा कि मैं यहाँ पे बहुत सारे तपस्वी चल रहे हैं मतलब हजारों लाखों लोग चल रहे हैं यात्री हमारे हैं मगर बहुत सारे लोग यात्रा को ज्वाइन कर रहे हैं कोई केरला से करा है किसी ने केरला से ज्वाइन किया किसी ने तमिलनाडु से कोई मध्य प्रदेश में तो ज्वाइन कर रहे हैं काफ़ी लोग पूरा रास्ता चल रहे हैं कोई लोग मतलब दो तीन दिन चल के छोड़ देते हैं फिर वापस आ जाते हैं तो ये चल रहा है इसमें काफ़ी लोगों को सीखने को मिल रहा है लोगों से बातचीत करने को मिल रहा है लोगों के दिल में जो दर्द है वो समझ आ रहा है युवाओं के दिल में जो दर्द है जो बेरोज़गारी फैल रही है देश में महंगाई सब चीज़ों के बारे में मतलब डायरेक्ट इनपुट आ रहा है तो वो था आपने कुछ नया डिस्कवर किया थ्रू दिस यात्रा जो आपको नहीं पता था जो आपको इस यात्रा के थ्रू कुछ सीखने मिला बहुत, और कुछ नया पता बहुत, चला बहुत बहुत चीजें पेशेंस बहुत बढ़ गई है क्योंकि मतलब हर रोज चलना पड़ता है लोग आते हैं थोड़ी थोड़ी इरिटेशन होती है तो उसको कंट्रोल करना पड़ता है <laughs> कोई हाथ खींच लेता है <laughs> कभी कोई धक्का लग जाता है तो वो तो बहुत अच्छी चीज है उसमें काफी मतलब इम्प्रूवमेंट आई है <laughs> बहुत इम्प्रूवमेंट आई है एक्चुअली मैं नोट कर रहा था um, और फिर जो हिंदुस्तान का कल्चर है हिंदुस्तान के लोग हैं उनसे मिलने उनसे मिलने से तो सीखने को मिल, मिलता है yeah. काफ़ी मतलब इंटेलिजेंट uh, हैं <laughs> बहुत ज्ञान है तो अच्छा है yeah. आप बता रहे हैं आपको कितना सीखने को मिलता है बट आई एम श्योर बींग इन द लाइम लाइट एंड बींग इन पॉलिटिक्स That in itself can teach you a lot. और काफी negativity भी रहती है आप negativity से कैसे deal करते हैं जब कोई नाम बुलाए जाते हैं या कोई comments आते हैं या trolls होते हैं does it bother you or how do you deal with it? आप मुझे gift देते हो मैं ले सकता हूँ या मैं reject कर सकता हूँ तो ये गुस्सा भी gift है आप मुझे देना चाह रहे हो आप मुझे दो ये आपका गुस्सा है ये मुझे दो आप दे आप नहीं लेंगे <laughs> अच्छा मैं प्यार दे रही हूं। हाँ, तो फिर ले लूंगा <laughs> और अगर गुस्सा दे रही है तो फिर मैं पकड़िए मैं देखूंगा ये क्यों दे रही है इसमें शायद रीजन हो अगर ये रीजन सच है <laughs> तो मैं उसको भी एक्सेप्ट कर लूंगा कि हाँ कारण सही है तो फिर मैं आपको गुस्सा भी ले लूंगा मगर अगर आपका, आपका कारण सही नहीं है तो फिर मैं आपका गुस्सा वहां छोड़ दूंगा आपके साथ अपने तक आप आने ही नहीं देंगे उसे जरूरत ही नहीं मतलब वो तो उनका है ना मेरा थोड़ी है आप आप स्पिरिचुअल 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 है है या नहीं स्पिरिचुअल मतलब मैं स्पिरिचुअलिटी में बिलीव करता हूँ मतलब व्हाट इज योर आइडिया ऑफ स्पिरिचुअलिटी और ट्रूथ ओके इन माय व्यू देर इज ओनली वन स्पिरिचुअलिटी व्हिच इज दैट यू हैव द यू हैव द गट्स टू फेस योर लाइफ विद ऑनेस्टी एंड यू आर नाइस टू पीपल you listen to people you understand people you are affectionate to them uh, you not nasty to them that's my religion aap uh, meditate karte hain kabhi ha is it is it a part of your like daily routine of meditating no i don't do that i don't sit there and hmm. meditate i do it in the middle of the day when hmm. i'm walking sometimes you know but i used to go ha huh. i haven't been for some years Yeah. But I used to go for 15 days, 20 days like that to meditate. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. आप आप कभी अपने आप से बैठकर ऐसे बातें करते हैं that you know what is the purpose of my life? What is it that I really want to do? You do that. I mean that happens to a lot of us young people. हम काफी कुछ अचीव कर लेते हैं तब भी अपने आप को question करते हैं जब अचीव नहीं करते तब भी question करते हैं क्या आप अपने आप को कभी question करते हैं about नहीं all the time all the time yeah and have you got the answer कि what is it that you really want to achieve? What is your vision? The day I get the answer I'll be a fool. Hmm. Right. If I if I if I suddenly decide I've got the answer, hmm. then I'm a fool. So Because right. life is life is much more complicated. Life is very dynamic. Life changes. So if there's somebody who thinks he's got the answer, that's not correct. You never have the answer. So so you always have the questions. Yeah. And you have the right questions or the right wrong questions, but I don't think you arrive at a place where you say I have the answer. that's just calling yourself god and that's mm. that's arrogance yeah so but are you are always in pursuit of looking for life's purpose no i yeah. I, I, just... i i 
I live my life and I try hmm. to be fearless. Hmm. And I try to be nice and I try to be gentle with people. And that's it. Let's say if you have to take a holiday, okay, you want to go out, you want to get a break from your current life because of course it can get stressful sometimes. Which is the place that comes to your mind? There's no place. No? It's like a like a journey. Hmm. So, you know, I, I find this journey that I'm doing very interesting. Uh, I used to cycle uh, a lot. So I used to go with my friends cycling uh, long distance. So I used to like that. But I don't, I don't think of it like, oh, that's a place I want to go. I think about it as, oh, that's a journey that I'd like to take. Or an experience that yeah. you would like to yeah. take. And I, you know, if you tell me, uh, go somewhere, I'd rather go somewhere I've never been. Hmm. I have some I have some preferences because I'm interested in certain histories and certain cultures. Yeah. So I have some preferences like based on that. Uh, but not specifically a place. Yeah. You have never solo travel kiya? all by yourself? All the time. Yeah? Yeah, all the time. Yeah. No security also sometimes? No, no I hmm. like it. I mean, so all, the, I mean, recently not much, but... Huh. All the time I used to do it. You enjoy it? I backpacked it. a lot, yeah. You backpack a yeah, lot. Yeah. Is there one of the most memorable backpack uh, experience or anything that happened with you that you would like to share with us? Anything no, I backpacked, I mean, when I was younger in, in Burma, hmm. uh, in Europe. Wow, Burma. Uh, I've cycled hmm. across Spain. I've cycled across Italy. I've, so I've done a lot of that. Can I ask you something personal? Yeah. <laughs> Are you planning to get married anytime soon? Well, no marriage the, on the When the cards. when the right girl comes along, I get married. <laughs> Are you looking for one? <laughs> I mean, if she comes along, she comes along. Uh, yeah. Okay. It'll be good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nothing against marriage as no, an no, idea. No, 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 no. Okay, no, it's only no. the right person. The right person. Comes yeah, I along. think part of the problem is my parents had a really lovely marriage, hmm. and they were like completely in love with each other. So my bar is is very, very high. high. Yeah. But is is there a checklist or anything? No, just just a loving person who's intelligent. So just a person who's loving and is human. Okay, I think all the girls out there are getting the message. Okay, <laughs> now you can get me in trouble now. <laughs> so, you know, we've had a great meal and consider this as your treat day. We also have some ice cream for you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I hope you can allow yourself to eat ice cream Oh my cream God, today. that's... Uh, <laughs> Do you have a favorite flavor for ice cream? No. Uh, you favorite, hai na? you like everything. Yeah, I try to explore. So, favorite, I mean, if you ask me, I, huh? I like chocolate, I like strawberry, hmm. I like this. Yeah. Hmm. Yum. So it's been wonderful talking to you, knowing about you. I mean, we only see one side of you, which is all about politics. But it's been very, very interesting to know that you have multiple talents and interests from scuba diving to martial arts, to being a pilot, to being a chess player and of course, a national leader too. So thank you so much for, you know, sharing this meal with me. Thank you. Thank and you I, for coming. And I wish you all the best for the Bharat Judo.